let's take a look again at our sketch. We said below the navbar, we want to have a big image with a heading and a subheading. And the image is supposed to cover everything. Now, this is generally referred to as a hero section within hero image. You, you have probably seen that on other websites. It's quite popular in designing websites these, these days is to have a, a big image as soon as you land on the page and then have maybe a bit of content. And if you scroll down, you find more content. So let's go about doing exactly that. In order to do so, I am going to add a section lay from the elements uh, layouts and select section. Now the section layout is meant to separate the page into different sections. These sections are visually different or they contain different content and um, they just control the structure of our page. And let's go about and adding a section and give that section a class name. I'm going to call that class of, in this case, hero image. That makes quite a lot of sense. And we so far have learned that we can give elements, div elements and section elements, background colors. However, we can also set background images. Let's do that here. Now I'm scrolling down to backgrounds. And here I can choose image and gradient instead of a color. And let's do that and choose an image. We can choose any image here and I have already uploaded our hero image. So let's now choose that hero image. And instead of wanting it to be repeated, we want it to appear once and cover the whole screen. So I'm going to select cover. And there we go. Now, if I go into preview, you will notice that there is no image currently. That is because we haven't added any height or width to the section. Let's go about and add that now. In order to give this a height and width, all we have to do is scroll down to the size section and give it a width of 100% because I want it to cover 100% of the screen. However, we cannot just give it a height of 100%. That, that's not going to work. Here we have to set the height to something fixed. However, we still want it to cover 100% of the screen. If I just enter 100% height, it's, it's, it's not going to work. I'm not going to go into the details why that is right now. However, just know that 100% screen height is not going to work here. So what we have to do is we're going to have to enter a different measurement. And let's take a look at all the measurements we can add here. You will notice pixels. We could give it a fixed size in terms of pixels. However, if our screen, screen size changes, then we always have to adjust that pixel number. So it's not ideal. Percentage, we said, probably won't work here. EM refers to something related to font size. And it is basically calculates the height based on the font size applied. Again, not very useful here, but we have two other options, VW and VH. VW st uh, stands for view width and view height. Now, since we are in the height element, we want to select view height. View height is the whole screen height. So if I set that to 100 view height, we can set a background image that's always going to cover 100% of the screen height. And now if we look at it, it looks pretty good. However, you will notice we have to, it. ideally we want it to stop appearing here after the bottom of the view height and not make us scroll down further. And the other thing is like, it doesn't fit too well with this navbar at the moment. Let's now try and fix that in order to make them look better together.